Well, hello, thank you for joining me today again on the Church History Trail. And we're continuing here in the city of Cork. And where we are is we're actually in Carries Lane. And what I want to show you here is a burial ground. And as you can see, it's a Huguenot burial ground, 1733. So fantastic to have this here. And you can see the wall from the period. And this is absolutely amazing. Now you can't get in because there's a, a lock on the gate, but certainly I'll show you in the best I can. You can see up the top there, Huguenot Burial Ground, 1733. And so there is a, a map there, which gives you the different burial plots where they are. So you can read that in your leisure. You can pause the video and, the video and zoom in on that. And not uh, take the time to read all that to you. But what I will take the time to do is to read this board to you. And it says, the Huguenots, Huguenots were French Protestants whose numbers and power grew during the 16th century. Religious persecution led many to flee France, particularly from 1685 when their remaining rights and liberties were withdrawn. Of course, that was by King Louis XIV, the King of France. And then it says, over 200,000 left France and about 5,000 came to Ireland. Of these, about 300 settled in Cork. It says the Huguenots were welcomed for their skills and also were regarded as loyal to the crown at a time of unrest in Ireland. And then it says, special privileges encouraged their settlement and in Cork they soon became important members of commercial and civic life. Some established themselves in business and manufacturing industries while others became renowned goldsmiths and silversmiths. And then it says several served as mayors of Cork and I'm going to show you that shortly. And then it says over time the Huguenots in Cork became assimilated into the local community. They made a significant contribution to the development of the city. So that's absolutely fantastic, isn't it? And so I'm going to read the next wee bit to you, which says church and burial ground. And I'll be able to show you the church. Now, the church is no longer in use. Well, it's in use, but not as a church. Um, so I'll be able to take you around and, and show you that. It says church and burial ground. The growing Huguenot community in Cork initially worshipped in temporary locations, but by 1712, members were able to build their own church or temple on Loomley Street, Knife French Street Church, Knife French Church Street. And I was down that earlier. And it says in 1733, they acquired an adjoining almshouse, which they removed using the area as a burial ground. And it says, for just over a hundred years, the Huguenots worshipped in French at their church. At first, Calvinist nonconformist services were held for were held, but by the 1740s, worship conformed to the established church, which is Ang was Anglican. By the early 19th century, most Huguenot descendants no longer needed French language services. And then it says, Huguenots worship. Huguenot worship at the French church ceased in about 1813. And then the last bit says, the French church was used for primitive Wesleyan Methodist worship. So it's got a Methodist connection as well for most of the 19th century. In 1845, the original building was replaced by a new larger chapel that extended from French church straight to Carries Lane, where we are now. From about 1901, the building was used for commercial purposes. The last known burial took place in that year. So 1901 was the last burial. And then the last wee bit says the burial ground today. And it says this surviving portion of the burial ground has been preserved as a tribute to the Huguenots who made an important contribution to the life of Cork. It was acquired by Cork City Council in 2007 and transformed into a memorial garden during the following year. Two headstones had survived and when removing debris built up over the years, archaeologists discovered other headstones and the remains of tombs. These marked the burying places of Huguenots and their descendants. Methodists also were interred here from the 19th century. Unfortunately, the church and burial records have not survived. 
Then it says some of those known to be buried here included members of the following Huguenot families. And I'll just zoom in and you can read those families for yourself. And then the bottom part says, protecting the burial ground from the street is an early 18th century wall. Dating to the period when this area was settled, it is the only example of the early 18th century, early 18th century masonry to survive in this part of the city. And I'll show you that wall again uh, before we go. But I want to show you these here, because what you have here, and I'm not going to read these out to you, you can read them yourself if you pause the video. But what you have here is the ministers of the French church, the French Huguenot ministers. So great to have that, isn't it? Fantastic. And then we also have the mirrors. And again, you can pause the video and read that for yourself. There we can see the mirrors of the city. Huguenot mirrors of Cork. So fantastic to have this. Absolutely uh, brilliant. And I will show you the, uh, the old church. But there's the wall again from the uh, 18th century, early 18th century. So fantastic to have this. So thank you for joining me today again on the Church History Trail. Again, if you enjoy the channel, please like and subscribe. God bless.